are recording. Hey, hey, I guys. See. This is me. It's April and Amber, and we are coming to you today. Listen, we have been tasked today with talking to you about fear. And I'm going to let Amber start this thing. <laughs> All right. Well, my name is Amber. I am a married uh, bonus mom of two, and we all are getting a little stir crazy from all being in a three bedroom apartment. <laughs> so it's been kind of crazy. Um, I was actually laid off from my full time job due to all this crazy coronavirus stuff, um, just because our entire state shut down in all restaurants. Um, and then I'm so thankful that I have this side gig that I can focus on to focus more on positive and sharing what we have um, as far as what people need right now because they need hope and they need products that are running out uh, before noon most days at the stores. So <laughs> we definitely have what they need and I just want to basically share everything I can with people, uh, hope, positivity. I don't like sharing any of the negative stuff that's floating around Facebook because it just, negativity breeds more negativity and I don't need that, honestly. Okay, so I'm April, we are in uh, business together, so we are business partners. Um, I, our governor here, literally just today said, all salons and, um, Barber shops and gyms and everything have to be shut down by Wednesday, 5 p.m. Well, guess what? I'm a hairstylist, I have my own salon. So after Wednesday, 5 p.m., exactly, I won't be behind the chair. So thank God for this opportunity, right? Thank God for what it is we chose to do. Um, speaking of fear, like I, I think had this happened, maybe even two years ago, I would be freaking out like crazy, right? Um, I don't know. I, I try not to get too fearful now, but I'm going to tell you what. Um, we saw how afraid America was last week. You saw how they were behaving in the stores and fighting <laughs> over toilet paper and all of that madness. Like, that is fear on steroids, right? Absolutely. Fear on steroids. And so... I recognize that when people act in fear or they act out of emotion, they end up creating things that would not have been created had they not acted in fear. Right. Right. Absolutely. Because I think, honestly, part of everything shutting down is people were so afraid of it shutting down, but the fact that everybody was running to the stores kind of almost exacerbated everything because if they went to ran to the stores, wouldn't have been around so many people, we wouldn't have had community spread start so fast. Right. And then, because that's what's causing all the shutdowns is it being spread more through more than just through travel, which is how it started. Right, right. And so I don't know if you guys remember, was it? Mm -hmm. 8, 12, 12, about 16 years ago, if that far, it might have been about 12 years ago, when everybody was so afraid of the gas shortage, remember, they, they thought we were going to have the gas shortage, and there were lines, you know, back uh, all the way up, you know, the street, well, because of the fear of a gas shortage, we caused the gas shortage, right, because exactly. everybody ran out at the same time, um, I think right. what bothers me a lot is when I see the moms out here that have infants that can't find diapers, um, the elderly that can't get the things that they want. Um, I don't know. Fear is a good thing. I think there is healthy fear. Okay. There is healthy fear. You right. know, not to walk in traffic. You'll die. Right. <laughs> you know, not to in in a box of cake. Huh? Most people know not to walk in traffic. Most, right. <laughs> but that's healthy fear. Like a healthy fear to me would be don't jump out of a plane without a parachute or don't jump out of a plane at all, even though that's something I want to do at some point. But still, like, I feel like that's healthy fear. Um, unhealthy fear is paralyzing. It can stop you from doing things that can help you. It 
can stop you from doing things that can help you uh, succeed and move forward. It can keep you paralyzed and stuck in one place, right? Yes. Um, I know yep. Amber and I were talking. She doesn't do lives a lot. They terrify her, right? But she's doing it in fear, like she's doing it anyway. This is what I need, yep. right? Absolutely. It just makes me so anxious to be on camera in general. I'm more of a photographer person than being in front of the camera. It's just not comfortable for me. Um, but I mean, I'm doing it anyway, just because it's something that needs to be shared. It's something positive that needs to be shared. And it's just, it needs to get out there more so than all this negative news or mostly fake news, I think, because <laughs> I hear so many conflicting reports from the different sides that I don't even know what to believe anymore until it actually happens. So. Exactly. Exactly. And I noticed that doing things anyway or doing it scared, like if we stay in our comfort zone, you won't grow, right? So Amber has made today a huge step towards growth because she has stepped out of her comfort zone, right? Um, yeah. even starting a new business, it can be scary, but it's so rewarding. When I started my salon eight years ago, I was scared to death, to death, but I'm glad I did because I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot. So I don't know. I just know that right now people are fearful. They don't know, um, if they're going to be able to feed their families. They don't know, you know, if they're going to have a job tomorrow, if they don't, they don't know anything. And Fear of the unknown, I think, is the worst. It's the worst. Um, I, I, was it our, our chat today? Was it today or the other day? We were talking about offering our opportunity to people in this time. Was that today, Amber? Well, um, John has been, John Melton has been um, mentioning this since it happened basically all week this week that a lot of people have are afraid that they shouldn't offer this opportunity right now just because everybody is unsure if they're going to have a job. But honestly, that's why we need to offer it is because people don't know. Right. And if people don't have a backup plan and it does happen, then what are they going to do? Right. They're just going to start freaking out over money. And instead of planning ahead and doing a plan B ahead of time, which just, I think it was John Melton that said, um, have a backup plan before you need the backup plan or something to that effect anyway. And basically, I just think that's so true because if you wait till you need it, just like a lot of banks or banker people um, say, don't wait to like build your credit until you need it because then you won't be able to. Right. right. And so I think my biggest fear, or I don't like to say the word fear, I like to say the word concern, is looking opportunistic, right? Remember, I don't know if you heard, was it Tony Zalecki this morning? And I was listening to another gentleman too today. And you know, you don't want to feel opportunistic, but yet you know, we know that we have something in our hands that could potentially change somebody's the trajectory of their legacy, right? At, at some point. Right. So, you know, I, it, it is unnerving because I know that a lot of entrepreneurs have gotten a bad rap. Um, I have gotten cold messages in my inbox. I don't like that, right? So I don't know. I feel like we need to be human first. Exactly. Um, but I personally, I joined the Rank Makers for the free 30 days um, that actually ends today, but, um, or the offer ends today for the next 30 days. And his call to action yesterday was just to reach out to people, not necessarily offer what you have, but just check in with them. And honestly, with all the messages I sent out yesterday, half of my responses were either just a thumbs up sign from Messenger or, Honestly, they just said thank you for just checking in and being positive because they're right. so tired of all the negativity that's being right. shared. Right. And so our job is to offer as much value as we can um, and the positivity um, and just 
offer a solution, right? Um, that is our job as well. So fear, I don't know. We just talked about it. Like it is scary sometimes to, you're talking to people and say, you know, I know that you're going through a hard time, but I may have something that can help you because you don't want to be seen as that entrepreneur or that, you know what I'm saying? That person. I saw that in a group a couple of days ago and I was completely disturbed by, you know, the response the entrepreneur gave the gentleman. And I'm like, wow, you know, there are some people out here who are really not very empathetic to what's going on. So that, that made me even more hesitant to say anything to anybody about, you know, the offer that we have that can start getting paid twice a day, the daily pay twice a day, seven o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock at night. Like, you know, we can, to, to be able to tell somebody we can show you how to do that or to be hesitant to do that because you don't want to be seen a certain way. I feel like it's selfish to a certain degree, right? Because I feel like because we know what we have, it is our job to let people know what we have, but then you don't want to be seen as. But at the same time, people, there's going to be people that will see us that way, but yeah. at the same time, there's going to be people that will end up thanking us for changing their lives because this opportunity can be life changing. And yes, it does take a little bit of an investment, but it's an investment in yourself. It's That's not, true. and honestly, with just the enrollment fee, I, as far as I know, we don't get any pay off of just the enrollment fee and it's for an entire year. So That's true. a lot of these opportunities out here, I, I know one that does no fee at first for like 45 days and then it starts charging you every single month whereas ours is about the same amount and it's once a year right and so, and what i found out today was they could actually get started just for the 39 dollars, and that's it they don't have to if if they can't do any more than that that's not something that they have to do they can actually get started for 39 dollars. Right. So, and start and making money really immediately. Huh? And I actually started that way. I didn't get any products at first. And you're, see, so, you know, just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Listen, we're here. Um, we want to talk to you about fear. We know that it's scary. Um, we know it's, it's hard out here. Like I said, you know, I just pretty much lost my job today, right? After Wednesday, I won't be behind the chair. Amber has lost her job. But if it hadn't been for what we found, I think we'd be freaking out more than we are, really, because we know that we <laughs> have another stream, right? We have something else that we, we chose to jump in head first. And we, we were ignorant. I was ignorant on fire, you know, but still earning as I learned. So if this is something that speaks to you, get with Amber. Um, if, if you are... Um, on her friends list, if, if you're on my page, get with me and we can show you exactly what to do. And if you're afraid, do it scared. Amber's here on this video. She's not, she's not used to being in front of the camera. She likes to be in behind the camera. And she's doing it. <laughs> do my best. <laughs> and she did a great job, actually. <laughs> All right, girl, yeah. do you have anything else to say? Um, I think doing it, the scare, being scared of uh, starting something new is almost even more of a reason to do it because you, then you know that when you prove that you can do it, prove it to yourself, prove it to your family, prove it to whoever you think you need to prove it to, then you'll be even better in the long run because then you'll know that regardless of how scared you are of doing something, you can do it and you've proven it to yourself and to everybody else i am so proud of you i'm so proud of you today you did a great <laughs> job let's get off of here because if we don't we're gonna get shut off okay all right guys you guys have <laughs> you guys have a fantastic evening we'll talk to you soon